Hello everybody, welcome to Knowledge India once again. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about elastic network interfaces, right? So now this is a really important part of uh, EC2. Okay, so uh, I I suppose you have already understood that what a VPC is. Uh, what about security group and network ACLs? Uh, in case you have not gone through those concepts, I would request you to please uh, look at the other videos on the channel and understand that first and then come to this particular tutorial. Okay, so uh, I have an, I have uh, an EC2 launched here. Uh, it is there in the public subnet. It has got a public IP address as well. And it has a simple website running, uh, you know, a simple page which says hello. We can go ahead and look at it. So here it is 54198.150.5, which is this particular public IP. Okay, and we can look at the rules of the security group. Port 80 is allowed. That's why we are able to access this website from an, uh, you know, from from a browser from basically on the public IP address. So what is ENI and why is it important? Now, uh, looking at the documentation, Elastic Network Interfaces or ENI is basically a virtualized form of your network interface card, okay, NIC. Now, what are the different uh, uh, attributes or different uh, concepts related to any an ENI? ENI is the is the is the thing which gives a private IP address to your instance. Now, you can see this particular instance has got this private IP 172.31.31.126. This has this IP is actually allocated to the ENI every ec2 instance will have one primary elastic network interface which you can see here this is the primary one so we can click here and we can open this okay so you can see that this is the uh, uh this is the network interface this is its id it is created in the same subnet as that of the ec2 because it got created as part of the ec2 creation itself right and it is the primary one now every ENI can have this many things. It can have, uh, it will surely have one primary private IP, uh, IPv4 address, basically IP address of version 4. It can have uh, uh, more number of uh, uh, secondary IP addresses as well, right? How many, how many secondary IP addresses? That depends on the instance to which it is attached. Uh, it can have one elastic IP in correspondence to every private IP okay so let us see here this particular ENI if we go ahead and click on manage IP addresses it has got two private IP address okay now currently if you want to give more you can click on assign new IP try to go ahead and save this but this is a micro instance it does not allow me to add more if it is a say some bigger instance like M4 large or something I can go ahead and have more number of private IP addresses okay so we'll just cancel this look at this again now every private ip this is a private ip this is a private ip every private ip can have one public or elastic ip as well right now currently there are no elastic ips there it can have one public ip one public ip as well now this public ip is the one which comes up when your ec2 instance gets created and in case while launching the ec2 instance you had given the auto assign public IP attribute to be true. Okay, in that case, this public IP comes. Elastic IP, you will have to reserve or basically you will have to uh, 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 get an elastic IP and attach it to the instance. So when you are attaching an elastic IP to the instance, it actually gets attached to one of the ENIs, right? And it gets uh, assigned against one of the private IP address. I'll just go ahead and do that and show you. It can have more. Any and I can have one or more uh, uh, IP addresses of version 6 as well. The security groups which we have, which we attach to the EC2 instance, that, that actually gets attached to the ENI into an instance. Now, by default, if you see, most of the times when we create an EC2 instance, it will have only one uh, ENI, Elastic Network Interface. That's why we just see that, okay, all the security groups one or two or n number of security groups are are associated to this particular instance that way we see it 
but it is possible that one instance can have multiple ENIs as well and we can have security groups attached to different uh, uh, elastic network interfaces every ENI will have a MAC address one MAC address a source and destination check this is also the attribute of ENI which then reflects as part of EC2 instance as well for example you can go ahead and see here it says uh, settings um, um, okay sorry in the networking you will have a chain source destination check you can go ahead and basically disable it but it is there for the network interface okay uh, though it is shown as part of here as well you can you'll be able to do the same thing here as well chain source destination check okay you can also uh, basically go ahead and uh, change the termination behavior for example for the uh, enis which get created along with ec2 uh, ec2 for them the delete on termination will be checked anything secondary which we create for that it would not be checked but we can change that behavior okay uh, important point to remember the private uh, the the primary eni of an instance cannot be detached from it right this is the primary one this i cannot detach if there is any secondary ni which i attach that i can detach from the ec2 instance all right so let us go ahead let me let us just do one thing so that we understand properly so we have this ec2 instance we have any ni this is the primary ni it got created along with the ec2 instance creation i'll go ahead and create one more now we can give a description subnet we need to choose the correct subnet 5e okay private ip will say also auto assign and with security group now i can choose as you can see uh currently for this particular eni this uh, launch wizard 3 security group is attached here i can choose completely different something totally else i can go ahead and say launch wizard 5 right i can it is and say it gets created so this is going to be my secondary one more eni which i have created now i will attach it to the ec2 instance just give it a minute here all right so you can see that our secondary eni got created right you can see the description which i had given now we will go ahead and attach it to an ec2 instance the one which we have running i'll go ahead and attach it once this attachment happens we can go ahead and refresh those properties and see that we have two enis available here right now um, we can go ahead and uh, do something uh, let us go ahead and check what uh, i'll also i also want to show you something uh, let me go ahead and get few elastic ip addresses Allocate okay, one few more. So, okay, let me by the way, you will have service limit of five elastic IP IPs in each region. Okay, so I got four. Um, actually, one is unnecessary. Let me just release that. Now what am I going to do is I'm going to attach this uh, IP address with the or associate this IP address with different network interfaces. Now I can go ahead and choose this. If I choose this instance, it will show me three private IPs, two from one ENI and one from the other one. And I can choose other way as well. Whatever you do, a an, an elastic IP is going to get asso get associated with an ENI against, an, against a private IP address. That is what I'm trying to show you here okay so um let us choose ours is this 24a and 6c1 so 24a and it has got one so i'll attach this associate then go ahead 24a let me just choose this one i think this one we have done yep so we'll choose so as you can see um one eni has got two that's why oops i'm sorry i'm 
all right so i think yes this is done you can see that there are these three private ip addresses against two network uh, interfaces right and uh, this should make a, and i've got three elastic ips you can also come and look at it here if you press on manage ip this one i think this is not refreshed let us refresh it once now we can see so this is the private ip and this elastic ip is uh, associated against that and this is the secondary ENI which is attached to that EC2 instance. And against this one, you can see these two, right? Now, uh, what do we want to do here is, let us look at the launch wizard tree. And these two, right? So we know that we, uh, I have got uh, on port 80 i have this website running okay so what what will i do here is for launch wizard 3 will allow port 80 and for 5 we will not allow okay there is no rule for this now i want to show you how does this behave so i will go ahead now and uh, open the website from the elastic ip addresses of the two different eni right so first i'm going to do from launch wizard 3 where the port 80 is actually allowed I'll take this it opens up great go to the secondary one pick its eni its uh, elastic ip and let's try the second one so this does not seem to be opening so as you can see the uh, these ip addresses are are uh, attached to the same ec2 instance but are there on different enis and both the enis have got different security groups on this one port 80 allow is allowed on the second one it is not allowed and hence it is acting accordingly so let us just quickly go ahead and verify this as well i'll go ahead and change the rules I'm going to remove from this one and I'm going to sorry going to add port 80 okay so let us go and see now this one should work working and this one should not work it keeps rotating so I think uh, the message uh, is clear uh, what we wanted to understand here is that what is an ENI? It is important to understand that because uh, sometimes what what we also do is if we want to if we want to move an IP address from one instance to the other, even a private IP address, we can do that with secondary ENI, right? First, let's say there's an ENI which is attached to instance one. If we want, we can detach it and attach it to another instance. So we can go ahead and do that. Uh, you always have the option of moving elastic ip from one machine to the another but eni helps a lot and also we should understand very clearly that security group gets attached to eni okay also the source destination check it is it is an attribute of the eni which gets reflected to the instance as well to which this eni gets attached and the primary ENI cannot be detached from an EC2 instance. All right. So you can see this is the secondary one which we which I created separately. And for that termination behavior, delete on termination is not checked. Whereas for the primary one, it would be checked. With that, uh, I would end this video. I hope you like it. In case you have any doubts, please go ahead and write in the comment section. Please uh, like and uh, share this video with your friends. Thank you. Bye-bye.